I'm gonna show you how to create beautiful cut lists like this using a free open source extension for SketchUp Pro called Open Cut List. So you can just go to extensions, extension warehouse, search for open cut list, and it's this one right here. And when you install it, you'll see this little tool button, toolbar icon right here. You click on it and this window will pop up. So what exactly does this extension do for you? So it will generate a list of every uh, component that either is in the entire model or that you currently have selected, and it'll show you the length and width of each of those parts. So it only looks at components, but you can have components nested into other groups and components. So you don't have to change anything about your organizational workflow. And what it does is it actually uses material assignments to determine what type of wood or product you need it to, you know, lay out and measure. So it'll give you a cut list like this, just showing you all the dimensions. But if it is a sheet good, it will generate a cutting diagram for you that's kind of optimized and laid out. And it's so packed with features, it's crazy. I mean, you can have offsets for like, you know, if you wanna trim, you wanna account for trimming, you know, the plywood down all the way around, you can do that. If you wanna have rough dimensions, and finish dimensions, you can include additional offsets from your dimensions. It's it's really a great extension. And honestly, like one of the most well put together extensions I've ever seen for SketchUp, never mind a cut list extension, but of all extensions, the user interface for this extension is just really well done. So for a free extension that's open source, it's really quite incredible. So let me show you how a basic workflow uh, would go for setting up a SketchUp model that'll work with this extension. Okay, so again, it looks at uh, components. So we'll just wanna create a basic component here. I'm going to make a sheet that's say 24 by 30, and we will extrude this three quarters of an inch. And then I'm just gonna triple click, one, two, three, right click, make component, and we'll just call this panel. Okay, and so in order to get cut list, the open cut list extension to recognize this as something you wanna have accounted for in the extension, you just need to assign a material, like a basic SketchUp material to that component. So you can just go to your regular, you know, SketchUp materials panel, grab any material and click to apply. Now, once you've done that, you just need to kind of configure the material inside of open cut list. So you just go to the materials panel here. You will see all of the materials in your model. Now these ones I've already got configured. So you see the little icon up here, but this one, we're just gonna click on it. And now you can rename it. So by default, it's just gonna show the material name. If I wanna say that this is oak plywood, I can just type that in there. And the type drop down menu will show you all the different options. So you can use open cut list to uh, quantify solid wood. So that's gonna be like rough sawn lumber that you're gonna be you know, planing down and ripping and really shaping to the finish size that you want. So it's gonna allow for accounting for additional thickness. So you have that extra you know, material that you can, you can plane down and things like that. There's also sheet goods which is what you're gonna get your cutting diagrams with. Dimensional lumber, you could think of that as like, you know, your typical framing lumber, or if, you know, you're just buying one by pine material or whatever that you're not gonna be planing down and you wanna have a cutting diagram for dimensional material where like you're, you're not worried about knots or like optimizing the placement of your finished boards manually and you just want to let the extension do that for you you can choose dimensional lumber and then there are some extra uh, material types here for edge banding which is a cool feature I'll, I'll, I'll mention later on and hardware too so you can even account physically you know have your hardware in the model and use this extension to account for those as well so in this case we're going to do sheet goods 
And the thing that's really cool about this extension is you don't have to create redundant materials for every single you know, thickness of plywood that you're using. So you basically use the material to define the species of the plywood and then you use this window right here to define the different thicknesses and different panel sizes. Now, to go even deeper, if you go over to the attributes for pricing, you can actually add a price. So you can either just do a generic price like by square foot or cubic foot, but you can click add a price here and select a standard size and assign a price to that size. So if you have you know quarter inch plywood and half inch plywood, you would just select that. So like in this case, you know, with this example is a three quarter inch sheet. So we would do three quarter inch sheet and we would say instead of per square foot, we would just say per item. So for every sheet of three quarter inch plywood, let's say we want, I'm just going to throw out a price of, you know, $50 and, and 34 cents. And so I can apply that. Now the cutting parameters, there's, there's a bunch of other parameters here for like oversizing the length and width and your, your standard dimensions here. Now, the, the plugin's even sophisticated enough where it'll orient the grain for you, which is really incredible. And you can override that, like if you have pieces where you don't care what the grain direction is, so you can override that as well. But let's just click Apply. And so now we have this material set up in the extension. And so what you can do is you can either generate cut lists for just what you have selected or you can do the entire model. So let's just select this panel here and we'll go to the parts section of the extension and it's gonna detect that our current report does not reflect what we currently have selected. So it's just gonna prompt us to regenerate. So I'll click that and there we go. So it's showing us we have our sheet of plywood uh, you know, it's it's labeled here, so it, it provides a letter to uh, to label this specific part, and that comes in really handy for the labels. So you can actually print labels for all of your parts as well. And so, if we go to the cutting diagram and click generate, we can see here's the part laid out on one of the standard sheets that we configured when we set up the material. And it's just, it's awesome. This, this extension works so well. Now, one tip that's really important when you're using this is you have to pay attention to your axes orientation. So the blue, red, and green axis inside of the component. So if I, if I go down into this component here and double click, we see we have a, the blue axis going this way, the red axis going this way, and the green axis going this way. So if we look at this button right here, it's going to show us how the extension is treating each axis direction. So the red axis is representing the thickness of the plywood. And then you have the green being the length and the blue being the width. So this is really important because especially sheet goods, you can't really swap around the thickness to a different axis. It's, you know, if, if we had swapped this around, the extension is going to think we need to look for a 24 inch thick sheet of plywood, which doesn't exist. So you do need to make sure that you're orienting your axes properly in SketchUp when you create your components. Now, the plugin does have a lot of intelligence built in for kind of swapping that for you automatically. But if you do need to change that manually, all you do is jump inside of the component, grab the axis tool here. We click at the origin point. We want the red to be along the thickness of the plywood. And then the green can go down this way. And so that works as well. So I think I may have just swapped the length and width in this uh, situation. But like I said, the extension does do a good job of kind of automatically reorienting things for you. So let's take a look at this cabinet again. I just deleted that panel and I have nothing selected. So I can go back to the parts and then click generate. And so now it's just gonna show me everything in the model. And so you can see here I have the face frame is set up as a solid wood. And I have these different parameters for the oversize, so quarter inch width oversize, quarter inch thickness oversize, 
and an inch and a half length oversize. So that's gonna give me room to cut and plane down the material. And if we go to parts here, so these are the rift cut oak parts that are in the model. So you see the quantity column right here. So face frame style end, I can highlight it. I love this feature right here. It highlights the parts right in the model. And so it's like, you don't even really need to export or print this out. You could literally just have SketchUp on a computer in your workshop and use this in the interactive mode to be able to orbit around your model and find the pieces and parts and pieces you need. And it, and it shows the label right on the screen down here. And you can like zoom extents to, to find it. So like if I select a part that I don't exactly know where it is. So let's say I highlight those and I'm like down here, like I could zoom extents. Well, we have some in the back here. So you can actually toggle transparency as well. So like if I was back here, you toggle transparency and you can see all of the ones that are highlighted. So there's just a ton of like really awesome features where you can kind of just use this right in SketchUp without having to, to print stuff out. But of course you can, you can print everything out to PDF or, or whatever, print it out on your printer. But going back to the face frame, so you'll see since these are set up as rough cut materials, we have rough dimensions shown in red here and then the finished dimensions shown here. And so if we go back down to the plywood here, so you'll notice how we have plywood maple half inch and plywood maple quarter inch. So in this case, I actually applied that one material to the parent group that is containing all of these child components. So instead of having to apply that material to each sub component, I just applied it to a parent group. And so that's just one additional way that this extension makes this process a lot easier and kind of more integrated into your existing workflow. You don't have to kind of change your organizational method to be able to use this extension. But notice how I don't have to actually have multiple materials set up for each thickness of plywood. I have this one material and just by having these standard thicknesses configured in here, I can use this one material definition and have, you know, different pricing for each one if I wanted to. And it'll automatically kind of recognize and organize the different thicknesses automatically and create separate cutting diagrams for them. And so we can take a look at the cutting diagram again. And if we wanted to, we can select a different standard size. If we have multiple sizes set up here, we can override that. We can define off cuts. We can set the blade thickness, the trimming size around the entire perimeter. There's different optimization levels. There's, there's just so much you can do here. Once you kind of look at your layout, you can kind of recognize, like in this case, so I have these parts here that are four inches and these parts here that are three inches. And so I can kind of take a look and be like, you know what, if I just increase these by half inch, I can kind of standardize all of these parts to be the same size. So obviously, in addition to just having the ability to create your cut list and optimizations, you know, being able to kind of identify those those optimizations that you can create manually is really valuable as well. So again, this is called Open Cut List. It's free and open source. I definitely encourage you to donate. You can click the sponsor button right down here to, you know, make a donation to this open source effort they're working on right now creating an SVG export so you can use this with CNC machines. So awesome extension. I absolutely love it. And again, if you want to check out my book, SketchUp to Layout, you can go to SketchUpToLayout.com. You can find it on Amazon. Uh, but if you want to buy it from my website, you're going to get the paperback with the ebook for free and you can get 10% off by using the coupon 10 off. So that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.